men into drug-related deaths from music festivals. And in sport, injury crisis for the Aussies at the World Cup with Usman Khawaja ruled out due to a hamstring strain. The weather today, a shower or two in the eastern capitals and in Perth, mostly sunny. Live with Laura Jays and Peter Stefanovic, this is First Edition. Good morning, folks. It's great to be with you. It is eight o'clock in Melbourne and six in Perth. Our top story this morning and after a mostly peaceful beginning, protests in Hong Kong have taken a turn for the worse, with violence erupting between police and protesters. Demonstrators are again marching against the government's proposal to allow the extradition of suspects to mainland China. Anger on the streets. Experiencing hour-long delays on their journey to work this morning due to a construction blitz. Live now to Patrick Murrell in Melbourne. Pat, how long will these delays last? Laura, major public transport delays will be ongoing for the next few weeks, ongoing with school holidays, with the line closed between Caulfield and Flinders Street Station until July 15. Buses will replace trains for this journey, with extra services being put into the system to accommodate for this influx of passengers. All in the east, only a slight chance now for Dubbo and a shower or two possible for Mount Gambier and Bustleton. But Perth now looks to be dry and Adelaide also looking at a dry, mostly sunny day. Rob, thank you. Appreciate it. Coming up, we'll be live to Comsec, previewing today's market open. Plus, I'll be speaking with forensic toxicologist Andrew Levy, ahead of the inquest into the New South Wales festival deaths. It's all coming up. Uh, let's go live to Comsec now. Stephen Daglian back with us. The uh, market will open. Uh, it's not too far away. How is it expected to, to open the day, given uh, I guess we're taking a lead from Wall Street on Friday? Exactly right, uh, uh, Laura. Well, look, the market is set for a bit of a tumble on the open today. Spy futures are only down by about 12 points, so that would represent a fall.